Hey guys, it's your boy Creepers, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed 2, where last time I left off, I killed Pierre the Patsy. And it is a look. My target is his father, Francesco. But first, I must eavesdrop on a meeting you know, of the Templars, because they're not very observant. Bernardo. It's all here. Swords, staves, axes, armor, bows. Our men will want for nothing. I take this gift, you mean the Pope consents? He gave his blessing to the operation. As long as no one is killed. We're all set for the Duomo in the morning, Signore. The bait's been laid, but it wasn't easy. His fool brother keeps changing his plans. See. Si. We'll need to be on hand to make sure Giuliano even gets out of bed for church tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Jacopo? Do you think they suspect something? Impossible. The Medici are too arrogant or too stupid to even notice. Likely a bit of both. <laughs> Do not underestimate our enemies, Francesco. Or have you already forgotten how your son was murdered? Well, it's only been a week. So he can't be that stupid. Molto bene. I should be off. I have some other business to attend to before I return to the road. Gentlemen, tomorrow a new sun rises over Firenze. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May the Father, the Father of Understanding guide us. I think you've stumbled onto one of the assassin's tombs Ezio's uncle mentioned. Now that we know the way in, I'll tag the landmarks containing tombs in the database. Probably very doubtful I'm gonna get all, all of these, but I'll have the armor around tire where I get it in this game or not in Brotherhood. Plus, it doesn't really make a difference. You can get max health without the armor fall tire, so screw the armor. Very discreet. Like a ghost. Nowhere Francesco would be and when. What is it? I overheard something. They have weapons, enough for a battalion. Even the Pope has given support. Mm. Typical of Sixtus. But what the hell are they planning? I couldn't understand the specifics, but it involves the Medici. It begins tomorrow morning at the Duomo. The Medici will all be there for Sunday service. Along with the rest of Firenze. They're going to do it right in the middle of High Mass. But it's also a chance for me to blend with the crowd. Get close. And stop this madness. If they succeed. If we lose Lorenzo and Firenze falls to the Pazzi, we'll not come to that. Promise. I hope you are right. Dude, I am the main character, so we're golden.
So which part of your path? Well, get my toy X pages decoded while I'm right here. May as well. Leonardo, huh? it's so good to see you. How can I help you? Haha! -ha, you found another one. How ah, exciting! I found another one. How exciting! <laughs> yeah. I just oh, have God. to substitute this. This over there. I got it. Two, two X pages. That's all? I thought I had two or three or four. Lorenzo, his wife. There's Giuliano, Lorenzo's brother. There's Francesco. There he is. Time to strike. Get ah! it! Again. 
Oh, and again. Ooh, I wasn't sure who he was going for there. Playing this game before, I know you're an important character. On me. I'm losing a lot of blood. Hang on, Signore. I'm moving as fast as I can. I'm just to the party! I'll kill you. I'll wipe this entire family from the city. They'll be a race! Wait out, Eddie, Signore. Conserve your energy, or I'll be delivering a corpse. We're almost there now. Your father was a good man. To be honest, it looks badass. No, if they get inside, they'll murder us. They'll put their own devils in power. Then my survival would mean nothing. I have to... Francesco de Pazzi. Help save our city. You are in extreme luck. I was gonna do that anyway. Francesco lead a battalion around the back of the Palazzo della Signoria. I fear he may be seeking another way in. Go, before it's too late. Do what you can! Oh, stop talking to me, you know, get right.
slaughter him! <laughs> I'd like to see them try. Seriously, I would love to see them try. Because they've not been doing a fantastic... In fact, they've been doing the opposite of a fantastic job of job getting rid of me. coming. It's just us now. Maledetto che il diavolo ti porti! Stami lontano! How funny would it be if he actually missed? He was not expecting to see me. <laughs> it's all over. Elio essere felici in questa vita. Oh, you wish it were over. Oh, it's over for you, but it's not. Again, again, it just started. Really. But you. I'm pretty sure the game chooses what time, whether it's day or night for the missions. I don't have any say in it. When I was six years old, I fell into the island. I soon found myself drifting down and into darkness. Certainly, my life was at an end. 
Instead, I woke to the sound of my mother. At her side stood a stranger, soaking and smiling at me. My mother explained that he had saved me. So began the long and prosperous relationship between two families. Yours and mine. Really? Where were you when my father and brothers were being hung? You have nothing to apologize for. I believe Jacobo de Pazzi played a part in their death. Actually, he does, because apparently he had a good friendship with the fam your family and did fuck all, so... Oh, yeah, why did we save this day again? If they work with Jacobo, was surely involved in the plot against my family as well. Give me their names. Antonio Maffei, Archbishop Francesco Salviati, Stefano da Bagnone, and Bernardo Baroncelli. Bene, I will go and see my uncle. He has men stationed in the countryside. Wait, before you go. A codex page. I took it from the files of Francesco de Pazzi. He clearly no longer needs it. I've always had an interest in things of antiquity. As did your father. It is meaningful to me as well. Then consider it a gift. Que el Signore ci protega. Jacopo di Pazzi. The money. This guy was the head of the Pazzi family, and he ran their banking business. An associate of Lorenzo de' Medici, he had nothing against him personally, so he hired four Templar hitmen to take care of the situation for him. Bernardo di Bandino Baroncelli, brought up to hate the Medici family for the exile of his cousins, Baroncelli ran the numbers in the Pazzi bank by day, and murdered for the Templars at night. It was Baroncelli who delivered the first blow. Stefano de Bagnone. Known for his cruelty, Bagnone was trained in Rome as a Templar butcher. It was Bagnone who stabbed Lorenzo de' Medici in the back. Antonio Maffei. Witness to the sacking of Volterra by Florentine mercenaries, Maffei blamed Lorenzo. He joined the Templars to seek revenge. It was Maffei who slashed Lorenzo's neck. Archbishop Francesco Salviati. Convinced he would be the next Archbishop of Florence, Salviati was enraged when Lorenzo stood in his way. But the Templars were there to heal his wounds. It was Salviati who marched their troops into the city. Huh. I've marked the Palazzo Medici on your map. In order to achieve 100% sync with Ezio's life, you should go explore it. being able to actually climb it. It's you. Thank God you're all right. This madness with the Medici and the Pazzi is this why you pursued Francesco. Not exactly. Well, whatever your reasons, the city's safe again thanks to you. Now tell me, how may I be of service? Ah, another page. Aha, it's a similar cipher to the last one. This won't take long. Interesting. Indeed. You see, it's another blade design for delivering poison. 
Can you build it? See, it won't take very long. I just need to find a way to hollow out the blade without sacrificing it. It's all right, Leonardo. Just do what you need to do. Mm, poison, you say? A very interesting. Well I filled your blade with a bit of poison to start with. Should you run out, just visit a doctor. Poison? From a doctor? In high enough doses, that which cures can kill. I am in your debt once more, my friend. Anytime, Ezio. Anytime. I'm trying to remember if I have already renovated the trailers or if I need to. Hmm. Well, I guess I will find out once I get to do that. Oh, no, it's already done. Excellent. Good work, sister. Yeah, let's see if I can increase my the income even more. Let's see what, what is the next thing that needs upgrading? Four, four, four. I guess the ones that are four, so this well. Ooh, plus 8,000. Yeah, that's what I see. Ezio. <laughs> One moment. And Mario. Oh, yeah, I felt of that. Only 10 quick space is missing. Yeah. And they add to the value of the place too, so win win. Let's see. And a bit more. 
our valuation, cause why not? Here, I got a feather for you. Stop moping now. Oh, I got two feathers. <laughs> Don't remember picking up two feathers, but there you go, I did. So, bonus. Well, Mario, I would talk to you, but... I mean, the individual. Here, I'll talk to you next week. <laughs> You're not important enough to get. for me to talk to you in this episode. Because I'm ending it there. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hit. Hit. Smash the like button if you did. Hit subscribe for more. And until next time, I hope you all have a very, very nice day. Peace.